Deep in the bushes, bitch, I'm scoping. Night vision, goggles, rifle, barrel, barely poking. I'm in the woods, I'm hiding, waiting on you to pull up. I see you. In this video, I'm going to talk about something serious that is plaguing the scum community. Sure, there are cheaters. But those can be actually eventually patched down, but I'm talking about the actual admin abuse on private servers and how to spot it on that server and what to do when you find it. What is admin abuse? According to the UrbanDictionary.com, this is a lot of different meanings that is just jumbled up, but basically, it's an admin that's abusing their powers, knowledge, and authority in many different ways uh, against a normal player. For those who don't know what scum is, it is a survival world that is open, it's a great setup, it's an amazing creation by GameSpires which has a lot of potential to grow into one of the best open world survival games ever. The first red flag when going to a brand new server or checking even your old one is check out what's on the Discord. If they have a bot system, make sure that they have public admin logs available. If they do not, put in a ticket and request it. If they refuse to provide this, it is better to walk away and not risk playing on that server again because in my experience 90% of the time they are actually admin abusing. If they do have it, simply go through the last 14 days of the logs and check for any activity that may seem fishy. You should see teleports and some type of spawned items. But never, and I repeat, never accuse an admin of cheating regardless of the situation as this puts them in a defensive mindset and they are less likely to tell you what you need to know. Simply tell them you noticed it and want to know more information about it. They could have been setting up for an event or there could have been an event that was happening at the time frame. You can also see this in battle metrics. If it's outside of the normal peak time, take a mental note and walk away from that situation and keep moving on. You may spiral, just don't. Public admin logs can be tampered with because admins will delete the records or they will set up exclusions where certain admin accounts may not be visible or simply turn off the logging as if there's no admin online at that time. You can test this by waiting until after peak hours and then call the admin and see if they show a teleport or even spawn an item for you. You should see those in the logs. The next thing on Discord is to check for any extra roles or hidden permissions. Once arriving on that server, I check every player's roles to see if there's anything suspicious, such as Director on Thunder in the Tropics or DVG Squad on Delta Viper Gaming. But why is this important? Because each role typically will have a hidden channel that you cannot see. This channel will have maybe base locations, intel about your boxes if you nomad, pathways to get to your treasure room or vault, or even the most dangerous, a hidden bot system for your major purchases. On Delta Viper Gaming, this was a bot that had cheaper prices and rating materials that you cannot get on the normal bot. On Thunder in the Tropics, this was hidden intel and the separate bot that actually housed just rating materials and guns that the normal bot didn't have. How do you know if there is a hidden channel or a hidden permission? You'll have to download a mod called Better Discord that you can install that has additional plugins that will allow you to see hidden permissions and hidden channels. Currently though, Better Discord does not support the hidden channels, so you will have to find the new download that's outside of that plugin website. Remember though, this is against the terms of service for Discord and you can get banned for it.
What if you find there are hidden permissions? Well, what do you do about it? What if you find hidden channels? What do you do about it? It is better just to leave the server than to stay because in the long run you can get this used against you. They'll ban you for some reason, they will exploit that system, they will find the easiest route to your treasure room or whatever. Just leave. The next red flag that you should be on the lookout for is allowing exploits. Regardless of what the exploit is, an exploit is an exploit. This can be building on a shipping crate to add height, floating structures claimed for decorations or flag placement, infinity doors, double door shooting walls, building on map walls, floating loot boxes, and finally, allowing players to build unlootable bases by building high towers and then destroying their stairs. If any of these are allowed on the server at any time, it's better to walk away. You could put in a ticket, you could try to change the server using the suggestions. Most of the time in my experience it doesn't work. The reason is because allowing an exploit in any form is normally just the tip of the iceberg. In my experience, the admins will hide what they allow and what they do not within the rules like Fresh Scum Island does. This is so that they can punish the players who do something they don't like and have something against. Example of this would be, you are a part of a squad and they get upset because you raided their friend. The admin will go to your base, find whatever exploits they can use against you and simply ban you for it by making up invisible rules that simply aren't there. This next red flag is gut feeling. Admins will always be watching you, and most of the time that you are online as a new player, they're following you around to see if you have ESP, unlimited ammo, whatever. And especially during your raids, if something goes off with your gut feeling, simply back off. Also, if you see stuff that just doesn't seem possible, such as a 700 meter shot with an AK-47, or the feeling that you are absolutely being followed, guess what, most of the time you're right. You are being followed. And if you feel that way, it's going to happen on every server, as an admin is going to see it, but if you're being followed by players, then you have something to worry about. It happened on my most recent server where every location a certain person would show up and try to kill the players in the squad I'm in. The last red flag is friend groups. Admins, just like any other person, will have a certain amount of people that they actually hang out with. These friend groups are typically who they spawn in these special items for. You can also check to see if that group has acquired concrete very quickly or even harder to obtain items. If they're streaming in Discord, check their live feed and you can also check the little thumbnail that shows that they're streaming. This should give you some valuable information on how much money they have, a general location to see if they're close to you, and so forth. Here are some items that you should be on the lookout for when looking in the public admin logs. They should not be spawned regardless of the circumstance unless it's a specific event. This includes C4 parts, C4, any type of the three lockpicks, full kitted M82s, TNT, pipe bombs, grenades, even setting the currency balance or giving key cards and screwdrivers. Some notable mentions of servers that have confirmed admin abuse. Thunder in the Tropics, Delta Viper Gaming, Phoenix Tears, Fresh Scum Island. 
Some admins to be on the lookout for when joining a server is Slick Giraffe, Wolf Z, Slap or Dr. Feels Good, and Lady Hawk. Some players that have assisted in the admin abuse is Evolution, Low, Filthy Casual, Shadow Kermit, Dick Four, Cat Butter, Ghost Wa, AB, Ramen Noodler 44, and Soggy. And I would like to send a special shout out to a few content creators that I have a high respect for and who've assisted in some way in providing me this information. Thank you, John Dominator and Fishcan from Silicon Tanks videos. Oh, they would feast one day on their bones with the flame of a